TickTick is like having a personal assistant in your pocket. For example, you can quickly jot down grocery lists, set reminders for your kids' soccer practice, and even track your daily water intake. However, you can also do these tasks using Microsoft To Do. Now, the question is, is TickTick even better than Microsoft's app? Let's discuss this today. The first thing you'll notice when you open TickTick is how easy it is to get up and running. Once you sign up, you're greeted with a clean, straightforward interface, similar to what you'd find in other apps, like Microsoft To Do. You can start adding tasks right away, but one cool feature is how TickTick allows you to organize tasks with folders. For example, if you're managing both work and personal projects, you can have separate folders for each. This might not seem groundbreaking at first, but once you start dividing tasks into neat sections, it changes how organized you feel throughout the day. Microsoft To Do also offers a simple task creation flow, but here's where TickTick starts pulling ahead, its built-in calendar feature. While Microsoft To Do integrates well with Outlook, TickTick allows you to schedule tasks directly on a calendar, which makes planning a lot more visual. It's especially helpful if you're someone who prefers seeing your week laid out in front of you. It takes just a few clicks to set up and customize, and from there, managing your time feels like less of a hassle. Let's see what features and benefits TickTick offers and what makes it different from its other alternatives like Microsoft To Do. One of TickTick's standout features is the Pomodoro Timer. If you've ever tried to focus on work in short, intense bursts, this feature will feel remarkable. It allows you to break down your tasks into 25-minute intervals, followed by a short break. For example, if you're tackling a big project or studying for an exam, you can set the timer to work on it in these manageable chunks. It's great for avoiding burnout and staying productive. Microsoft To Do doesn't have a built-in Pomodoro timer, so if you like to work this way, TickTick gives you a clear edge. TickTick also includes a habit tracker, which goes beyond traditional task management. This feature helps you monitor daily habits, whether it's exercising, reading, or simply staying on top of a routine, like drinking enough water. Each time you complete a habit, you can tick it off, and TickTick will track your streaks, which shows you how consistent you've been over time. This is ideal for those trying to build better habits while managing their tasks in one app. Microsoft To Do focuses more on simple task lists and doesn't offer habit tracking, so TickTick gives you that extra layer of functionality if habits are part of your routine. TickTick lets you create custom smart lists, which is great when it comes to organizing your tasks. For example, you can set up a list that only shows tasks due today or tasks tagged as high priority. This makes it much easier to focus on what's important without getting overwhelmed by everything on your to-do list. You can filter tasks based on specific criteria like tags, due dates, or priority levels. Microsoft To Do has basic task lists, but it doesn't offer the same customization, which means TickTick gives you more control over how you view and organize your workload. Another big plus with TickTick is its calendar integration. This allows you to see all your tasks in a calendar view, which is especially helpful if you're someone who likes to plan out their days visually. Whether you're managing work deadlines or personal errands, seeing everything mapped out on a calendar makes it easier to plan ahead. Microsoft To Do doesn't have an in-app calendar, so you'd need to rely on Outlook or another external calendar for this feature. In TickTick, it's all built in, which saves you time and keeps everything in one place. When it comes to working with others, TickTick offers collaboration tools that make it easy to share lists and assign tasks. This is really useful if you're working on a project with colleagues or even managing a shared household to-do list. You can invite others to your lists and track who is responsible for which tasks. Microsoft To-Do also allows for list sharing, but TickTick gives you more flexibility with features like custom views and filtering, which makes collaboration smoother and more personalized to your needs. Of course, not everything's perfect. While TickTick offers a lot, there are restrictions, especially in the free version. For instance, you can only create up to nine lists and each list can hold 99 tasks. 
something you won't encounter in Microsoft To Do, which is completely free. This can be a deal breaker if you're trying to manage multiple projects with a lot of tasks. Also, TickTick's premium version, while reasonably priced at around $35 a year, adds more features like premium themes, white noise options for the Pomodoro timer, and advanced filtering options. These are great, but if you're happy with basic task management, Microsoft To Do might be enough, especially since it's part of the free Microsoft ecosystem, including integration with Outlook and OneNote. One trick we'd recommend is using TickTick's natural language processing for adding tasks. For example, if you type meeting with client tomorrow at 10 a.m., TickTick will automatically recognize this and set the task for you with a due date and reminder. Microsoft To Do has a similar feature, but we found TickTick's interpretation to be a little more intuitive and flexible, especially when adding tasks on the go. We also suggest taking full advantage of TickTick's tagging system. You can create custom tags for each task, which makes finding and organizing them a breeze. If you're working on a big project, you can tag related tasks and filter them later. Microsoft To Do allows you to prioritize tasks as important, but the tagging feature in TickTick adds more depth, especially when you're managing multiple categories of work. Microsoft To Do is completely free, which makes it appealing if you're already using other Microsoft tools. It's simple, and it gets the job done without any hidden costs. TickTick, on the other hand, has a free version, but limits certain features like the number of lists and tasks. For full functionality, including advanced calendar views and premium themes, you'd need to pay $35.99 annually or three per month. But here's the thing. Even if you stick with the free plan, you still get a ton of features, especially compared to other paid apps in this space. In our experience, the premium features are worth it if you're someone who likes to deeply customize your workflow and enjoys the extra productivity tools like the Pomodoro timer. But if you're content with basic task management, Microsoft To Do might be a better option since you won't be spending a dime. So, is TickTick better than Microsoft To Do? It depends on what you need. If you're already integrated in the Microsoft ecosystem using tools like Outlook and OneNote, sticking with Microsoft To Do might make more sense. It's free, integrates perfectly with other Microsoft services, and is a great choice for basic task management. But if you're looking for an app with more features, like habit tracking, the Pomodoro timer, and custom smart lists, TickTick offers a richer experience, even in its free version. Let us know in the comments if you've tried either app and how they've worked for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.